everybody, and welcome to the fifth episode of Webkin's reality TV show. Uh, you know that's my spot. Ugh. Thank you. Now today, we will have more drama than we did, um, in the fourth episode. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy. Because I will enjoy this. Okay. Mm. Good job, Maggie. You did the right thing. Yeah, I think I did too. Hmm. I kind of feel bad, but yet I'm happy for Raymond. Yeah, I am too. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Um, he really misses wife for Kel. Well, you miss Clyde like heck. Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to write him a letter. She's kidding, right? Um, let's hope so. I'm not kidding! Well, looks like Raymond's a goner. Huh, oh, what a shame. Yeah, but now this alliance is filled with girls! Oh my gosh, girl power! Yeah, girl power. Look, we are the best alliance. And also the biggest. As you can see, three over there, three over there, five over here. There's only 11 contestants left. I'm so happy I made it this far. It's not shocking to me. I knew it. Yeah, I kind of did too. But you got voted, you got, got, you got put up last week. Or in the fourth episode. Oh, yeah, I kind of did. Um, hey... What do you think the challenge will be today? I don't know. <laughs> they didn't feed us any breakfast, which was really weird. Yeah, I find that just a little weird. And I don't find it weird. Oh, this rat hat really kills me. <laughs> I'll show you who's boss. Anyways, um, how's everyone today? Hungry. Hungry. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry too. Ask me, that's no breakfast is insane. I mean, really. I've skipped breakfast before. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, to you it is. <laughs> I always have breakfast. Always, always, always. I bet the, f the challenge has to do something with food. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah, so can I. Well, that's it for the drama. I don't think there was very much. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. Peace out. What's that for? I have no idea. Anyways, the challenge today will be um, not on this list, but... Stop destroying the paper! Sorry! Anyways, the challenge is cook a meal. You see that? Right there. So... I hope you enjoy watching the challenge. We will be having our challenge in a different place, so things could get thrilling. Hello, everyone. Hello, Amber and Bob. You never got me. Thank you. Anyways, today's challenge, you will have to cook a meal for us. Okay? Oh, okay. And it's going to be harder because we didn't get breakfast. Isn't that right? Yep, that's right. So, let's get cooking. Here are your plates. And by the way, the kitchen will be right in there. And we will be eating our food on here. So, yeah, I hope you do well. So, get cooking! Oh, and just so you know, when we mean by meal, we don't really mean meal. We just need food. So, carry on. Alrighty, let's see what we all got here. Mmm, looks like we got some scrumptious meals. Uh, versus Ashley. This is my mother's favorite and famous chocolate ice cream. Let's get a good view. It looks good. So, let's eat it. Oh, you taste it, Amber. <coughs> Ugh, you do not win. <coughs> that is dis disgusting. Ew. I don't even know what to write that. Gross. Huh? Give me back your plate. 
Next! Well, it looks like someone does not appreciate the chocolate ice cream recipe. These are some of my famous M&M cookies. I really hope you like them. Mmm! Mm, these are delicious! Oh my gosh, I can eat these all day. We'll give you your ratings very soon. So let's give it back your plate. And who's next? Me with my famous Puff and Fluff cupcakes. Oh my gosh, no wonder they're called Puff and Fluff. They're delightful. Very charming of you. We really like them. Let's take back your plate. And let's see who's next. I got some Oreos for you famous and beautiful young hosts. Oh my gosh, why would you say it's better than the original Oreos? Oh my gosh, I've fallen in love with these. We'll give you results shortly afterwards. Who's next? Oh gosh. These, uh, this is vanilla ice cream with some green stuff. I have no idea what it is. With a cherry on top. You try it. Very interesting. Do you have any idea what was in that green stuff? Um, let me see. Um, um, r rotten pineapples. <laughs> Why would you put rotten pineapples in this thing? Well, there's nothing else left. Ugh. We'll give you results shortly afterwards. Who's next? I got my grandma's recipe for the um, amazing and very tempting chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. These are very crunchy. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa, these are like super crunchy, but I love it. Let's take back your plate. Next, these are. What is that noise? Uh, I don't care. Tell us, anyways. All right, these are m some chicken legs. Oh, Mrs. And Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Cluckers would be scared right now. If you are Mr. and Mrs. Cluckers, do not watch this. Mmm, <coughs> very delightful. Very charming. Where'd you get this kind of chicken from, anyways? It's a recipe. Duh. Okay. Okay, we get it. Take back your plate. Next. When I got here, I brought some of my farm fresh strawberries. So, I hope you enjoyed them. Mm. Oh my gosh. These are way better than store-bought strawberries. You're right. We'll give you results shortly afterwards. Next. Just curious, where did you get all that Smurfette plates? We found them at a Roman sale. Next. These are pancakes Famously cooked by my mom. I tried the recipe just to see how it is. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Wow, these are very good. I love them. Let's take back your plate. And let's see who's next. These are some grapes I got all the way from my garden. And they're kind of huge. The reason why I chose grapes is because I'm a grape soda pet. Duh. Holy cow, these things are huge. But I love it! <coughs> Very good. Take back your plate. And let's see who our final cooker is. Just so is. you know, when I saw um Christie's grapes, I was like, whoa! Those are huge! And then I'm up next. Oh my gosh. I was scared. I really wanted them to like my peas. These are some of my famous homemade peas. Hmm. These are actually better than peas. It's like at a store. Mm. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now we are about to reveal the results. All right, everyone, get back in session. And the winner. What the heck did I just do? You had. It wasn't that loud. Anyways, the winner. Of the taste challenge is Tika. Congratulations! Oh my gosh, I won! Yep, you did have it there. You're the best cook here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for appreciating my M and M cookie recipe. Thank you for all the people who cooked. Now today, now we're gonna go upstairs and reveal who's gonna go home. Well, I am very, very happy that I won today's challenge. Finally, I get to put up Ashley. She is so rude and bossy, I've heard. 
But who else am I going to put up? Ah, someone from the Q Club, so no, because everybody loves the Q Club. And they'll all vote for Ashley. It's brilliant. It's such a brilliant plan. I love it. Um, sorry, Eddie, but I'm there. Come on down, Tika. Now, you have to put up two people. I already got them decided. Well, that was quick. So, here is I'm going to put up. I am going to put up Eddie and Ashley. Oh. What? Ugh. Trust me, Eddie. Oh, yeah, I know what The you rest mean. of you, go into the diary room and cast your vote. I'm going to vote off Ashley. This is the girl who made me do her dishes and do her laundry. And that's Ashley. Duh! Who wouldn't vote off Ashley? Tika, you roll. I'm voting off Ashley. I've always wanted to say this. I'm going to vote off Ashley. I'm voting off Ashley. Vote off Ashley. I'm going to vote off Ashley. By a vote of 8 to nothing, the person that is going home is Ashley. <gasps> oh, no. No, this is so unfair. I demand a recount. We all voted you off. Even you? Yep, I've been wanting to do that forever. Ugh, this is so unacceptable. Ugh, I did not like you. Let's bring in the cage. Wait, cage? You do not... No! Ugh, no! I deserve to win! I deserve to... I deserve to win! Well, looks like that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. And I'm Amber signing out. And I'm Bob signing out. <laughs>